If you're a regular around here, you don't need us to remind you that affordable phones have gotten really good over the past year or so. The Samsung Galaxy A series has been a part of that movement, and now with the Galaxy A30 and A50, we have the most powerful and feature-rich phones in the A series to date. The A50 here is the new standard bearer for Samsung's mid-tier lineup, and it includes the design prowess, technology, and features that you might expect for a much more expensive handset. But before we get to the numbers and spec checkpoints, let's talk about this gorgeous rainbow effect back panel adorning the rear of the phone. It's not over the top ostentatious, but it does give just the right amount of extra flair to the overall package, and I really like it. Around the front, the A50 impresses with minimal bezels and a tiny display cutout up top, meaning the front face is taken up almost entirely by its 6.4 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED panel. Hard to say how that compares with more expensive AMOLED offerings like the Galaxy S10s, but it looks bright, vivid, and clear under the show lights here at Mobile World Congress. It's a pretty comfortable ergonomic package despite its large size, thanks to the tall 19.5x9 aspect ratio, and it's also impressive to see an ample 4000 mAh battery powering both the A30 and the A50, since previous A series phones haven't always had the biggest power packs. The A50 is also one of the first mid-tier phones to use an in-screen fingerprint scanner. This isn't the newer ultrasonic model used in the Galaxy S10, so the setup process is quite a bit slower, but it worked reasonably well in our testing here on the show floor in Barcelona, though with a noticeable speed hit compared to the Galaxy S10. Speaking of S10 comparisons, let's get to the software. The Galaxy A50 runs Samsung's latest One UI, the same version 1.1 of the interface that you'll find on the S10. With most of the features intact, and the same performant interface with easy one-handability that we've been enjoying on Samsung flagships for a few months now. In both how it looks and how it performs, this is every bit a modern Samsung smartphone. That extends to the cameras too. There may be just a single 25 megapixel selfie camera hidden up in that screen cutout, but the triple rear camera array gives you a lot more options. The main shooter is another 25 megapixel unit with an f1.7 lens, that's paired with an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera at f2.2, plus a 5 megapixel sensor for depth detection. That means you get a full array of live focus options to add artificial depth to your pictures, but like other Samsung phones, this can be hit and miss at times. The ultra-wide camera is pretty impressive though, and while it's not anywhere near as good as the Galaxy S10s, it still gives you a dramatic and unique field of view. The Galaxy A50 goes on sale in March, priced at around the equivalent of $350 in markets where it's sold, and at that price point it should do well, delivering a lot of the core experience of more expensive galaxies for significantly less cash. That's it for now, stay tuned and subscribe to Android Central here on YouTube for more from MWC 2019. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.